in this mechanism the linear motion of link 2 which moves to right and left uh, creates a rocking motion at this bar member 4 uh, and this tree rolls on the follower without slipping actually there is, a, there is no dis slipping between the disc and the bar here actually D point D doesn't slip and it's uh, important in this problem for the configuration shown DG is 150 it's actually the radius of the disc uh, O4G is 300 millimeter the distance between the center of the disc and O4 the input link number 2 moves to to the right at 100 millimeter per second draw the configuration and locate all the cent all centers of rotation I'm not gonna use the instant instantaneous centers to solve the problem I'm gonna introduce a new method that's why I'm not gonna uh, do part A and B uh, I'm going directly to solve part C determine the angular velocities of roller 3 and follower 4 first of all I'm drawing the triangle GDO4 GDO4 the distance between GO4 is 300 GD is 150 so at D we have a right angle because uh, member 4 is tangent to the disc so the rest of the angles are tr uh, 30 and 60 degree and consequently the line O4D is 259 point eight millimeter that's from the geometry it doesn't have anything to do with the uh, theory of machines okay here I have a bar it represents the member 4 and velocity of point D and on this member because member 4 can rotate about O4 velocity of D it's result of the rotation and obviously VD is perpendicular to the red line here which the red line is uh, member 4 we have point G we know the point G is moving to right and the velocity is 100 millimeter per second so we know velocity of G horizontal to right and also I know velocity of D with respect to G velocity of D with respect to G is result of rotation of disc 3 about point G so there is a rotation I call it omega 2 3 the member 2 member 3 rotates about point G of member 2 and then the relative velocity of D with respect to G is perpendicular to the radius from G to D so it's perpendicular to this line so VDG is as you see here in the picture on the other hand we have equation for velocity of D velocity D is equal to velocity of G plus velo velocity of D with respect to G now I'm going to mm, because I know the VG the magnitude of the vector of, a ve of the vector is 0.1 meter per second and the direction is known VDG direction is known magnitude no, is not known and VD also direction is known magnitude is not known I can draw this triangle v, VG plus VD with respect to G which makes mm, angle of 30 degree with the horizontal line is equal to VD I know the direction of VD is perpendicular to member 4 so the angle is 60 if you look at this triangle when we know the VG hypotenuse of this triangle is 0.1 then VD is 0.1 cosine 60 and VD with respect to G is uh, 0.1 sine 60 so we will have VD and VD with respect to G back to the picture here when we have VD we can divide the linear velocity of point D or by radius of D from O4 to D in fact and by using this equation O4 uh, VD is equal to omega 4 times O4 D we can find the, na uh, the angular velocity of member 4 so angular velocity of member 4 is li linear velocity of point 
d over distance over d 0.1924 rad per second now we have velocity of point D. Point D is a common point between member 3 and member 4. Also, we have velocity of point G. When we have two velocities of two points on a member, we can draw perpendicular lines from those two velocities and find the instantaneous center of that member. So if I draw line perpendicular to VG and another line perpendicular to VD, at this point, the intersection is P13, I called it here, so it's instantaneous center of the disk. So P, uh, then uh, we have a triangle G, D, and P13. If you look at, look at this triangle, this angle D is 90 degrees, it's right angle. So P1, G is D, G, or G, D, the radius over cosine 30, so we can find the distance from P13 to G. And then when we uh, have the, uh, the, the instantaneous center and the radius and the velocity of point G, we can use this equation. VG is equal to omega 3, angular velocity of member 3, times the radius, the distance from the instantaneous center to point G, P13 to G is 0.1732, VG is 0.1, if we divide them, we will have omega 3, 0.577 rad per second.